back to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to make a simple video on how to cut your corset top or your corset blouse so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist measurements hip and our top length our shoulder measurements is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 our waist is 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 our hip is 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 our top length is 22 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 24 inches so these are the basic measurements required for you to cut your corset top or your corset blouse don't forget to join us on facebook where we have fashion where we have illustration on different fashion topics and also visit our website i'm going to put down the details in the description box below and the first thing we are going to do first is to draft our pattern with me here i have my pattern paper now this pattern paper is about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle and guess what guys this pattern paper is available at our store i'm going to put down the detail in the description box so you can have yours and one thing i love about this pattern paper is the fact that it comes in a very long length and it comes in a bundle so when you have to draft dresses that requires long length i recommend you have this pattern paper and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to treat in the comment section so now let's move straight into the thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and mark our top length so i'll go ahead and mark my top length which is 24 inches mark my top length which is 24 inches I'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together. So we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurement. So I'll take my shoulder to arm O 9 inches, shoulder to bust 9 and half, shoulder to under bust 13 and half, shoulder to waist 17 and half. Oh, nine and a half sh nine shoulder to arm o nine shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust thirteen and a half shoulder to waist seventeen and a half I'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines go ahead and label once we are done with that the next thing we'll do is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is four inches Go ahead and mark our dart. Mark our dart, which is four inches. We'll connect the lines together. On our waistline, we'll mark half inch on both sides. We'll connect the lines together. Now on our under bust, we we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides for our under bust. We'll mark half inch on both sides. Then we we'll go ahead and connect the lines together. We we'll make use of this inner part of this pattern master to connect it from our under bust to our waist. So this is what you are going to have. So now for the dart line, not your under bust line, your dart line, extend it to your shoulder measurement. We'll go ahead and extend it to our shoulder measurement. 
on the shoulder line we mark five and a half inches we've marked five and a half inches we'll connect it to our bust line now once we are done with that we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement which is 10.5 our waist measurement which is 10 and our hip measurement which is 11 inches we'll go ahead and connect the lines together so this is what we have now because i want the lower part to have a curve note that it is not necessary okay it depends if you want to have a curve at the lower side so i'll go ahead and mark two inches at this point and i will just curve it down to my top length so this is what i will have for my top now because it is corset what we want to achieve is corset you are going to determine how many inches you want to take off for your corset blouse okay so i'm going to take about six inches off i've gone ahead to mark my six inches and i'll connect the lines together now once you are done with that you will now on this your six inches line on the six inches line go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement okay so our shoulder measurement is seven inches this is where we have seven inches so we'll connect these seven inches to our bust line We've gone ahead to connect it to our bust line. Now, on this bust line, mark one and a half inches. On this arm hole line, on your arm hole line, come up with one and a half inches. So, on this arm hole line, we'll mark one and a half inches. So, this is where we have one and a half inches. Now, on the other bust, this is our other bust, we'll go ahead and mark two and a half inches. We'll go ahead and mark two and a half inches. So, we'll connect this one inch we took on our arm hole to these two inches on our under bust line. I'm going to make use of dotted lines. So, this is what we have this is what we have now on this other bust line go ahead and mark one inch go ahead and mark one inch above this under bust line and the essence of this is just to give us a curve so you go ahead and connect the line to our under bust line So this is what you are going to have right so the one inch we took at this point is just to enable us to get the curve so what we did let me just come over again from your shoulder measurements mark one inch on your shoulder measurement on your arm o on your arm o mark one inch on your arm o now on your under bust line on your under bust line mark two and half inches on your other bust line now this is your other bust come up with one inch and you use your curve to connect the lines together okay use your curve to connect the lines together now once you are done with that on your neckline this is your center front come down with two inches on your center front come down with two inches now the essence of you coming down with two inches is just to give you a curve on this center front line go ahead and mark half inch on your center front line go ahead and mark half inch 
your half inch will stop at your under bust line so i'll go ahead and connect our half inch so you see that our half inch started from our neckline where we want our neckline to start from which we came down with two inches and we marked it up to our under bust measurement we marked it up to our under bust measurement now on this your under bust line come up with one inch come up with one inch come up with one inch then you go in with your curve and connect it together so you can see that our corset shape is coming up already so what we did is that from your arm from your neckline come down with two inches when you come down with two inches you mark half inch on your center front up to your under bust on your under bust line come up with one inch this enables you to get your curve okay now once you've done that from this our shoulder dart you connect your shoulder dart line to the two inches you marked at this point so you connect it together you connect it together to the two inches you marked at your neckline so this is what you are going to have you can see that our corset shape is out already so i'll go ahead and cut this out out go ahead and add to your sewing allowance so i'm going to add two inches to my sewing allowance because we are we need we will be needing the inches or the allowance to join our corset together so i'll go ahead and add two inches to my sewing allowance So you also increase your top length so I'll go ahead and connect our new sewing allowance together head and cut this out this is what our corset is going to look like this is what is going to look like so we'll go ahead and open up the dart cut we are going to have first you have to label your corset so we have one two three four make sure you label them before you cut it out so after cutting it out this is what we are going to have we have our basic line now we are going to go ahead and mark one inch for our zip allowance go ahead and mark one inch so once we are done with that we we'll connect the lines together so that measurement which is four inches we mark our that measurement connect the lines together on our waistline we we'll mark half inch on both sides go ahead and connect the lines together now because this is corset we took away six inches for the front block we'll go ahead and mark six inches also at the back block connect the lines together so on this line we'll mark our shoulder measurement which is seven inches we'll mark our bust measurement 10.5 our waist measurement 10 inches our hip measurement which is 11 inches we'll go ahead and connect the lines together now once you are done with that you connect your shoulder line this is our shoulder measurement to our bust line so for the back block is basically very simple now because we cut the lower part of the front block we we'll go ahead and mark two inches also and then we curl this lower block note that this is optional okay you can decide to leave it 
make use of this African fabric and African prints are available at our store. I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two back block and I'll go ahead and cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is what we have. And you can look, I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. I've placed the pattern. This is our center front, so you make sure it stays on this closed part. And we are going to have two pieces for this side. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So this is what we have. You can see the center front. And for the side, we have two pieces, okay? So our corset, I'll go ahead and cut it out also. So we have two pieces for our corset on this part. And we also have two pieces of our corset on this part. So we'll go ahead and set this aside. Fold our lining into two, our back block, and we cut it lining for all the fabric. But for the main block, you can see that our lining is shorter than the main fabric with about one inches, so that we can turn it up neatly. And also, you also cut out lining for your corset. So you are cutting out lining for everything basically. So we we'll set them aside. Now, you can either use cup or wadding to achieve your corset. It depends on what you prefer, right? Now, so we'll go ahead and use this uh, corset. That is where we have the bust effect of our corset. And we'll cut out our wadding for it. And then to go ahead and stitch from this part. Of course, this is where we are going to insert our corset. That is the bust area. So we are going to stitch from this part all the way down. So after joining it, we have one single piece. This is what it and take our wording. Make sure the shining part of the wording sticks to the fabric. The shining part of the wording sticks to the fabric this way. So we'll go ahead and stitch them to be have you can see and our wording is inside so we are going to take the middle point of our bust point and place it on this midpoint so we have this midpoint to this point and then we'll go ahead and sew this all the way what we have so we have a single piece for the front block and you can see our corset so we set and we are going to take our lining. We go gone ahead to turn it with the lining, and we just left a little space at the side where we used to turn it out. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our darts. So basically fold our fabric into two, and then we'll stitch our darts to our under board. Ahead to fix our zip and our back block is ready this is what we have you can see our corset and then we've gone ahead to join our lining also the same way we did for the fabric so what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and stitch the neckline we we'll stitch the neckline stitch the lower side and also the two sides but when you are stitching the sides you will leave about two inches on one side where you are going to turn it out what we have so you can see the corset and for the fr for the back where we have our lining you can see what it looks like and with, this is where as you take your back block which is also one piece place it on each other Use your bust measurement, your waist measurement, and your hip measurement to stitch the two sides together. What our corset top look like, and you can see the effect of our corset. So this is one 
bust for the corset and this is the second bust for the corset and this is what it looks like okay so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you want your corset top to have a sleeve all you have to do is to attach your sleeve half inch on both sides and you can actually rock your corset this way so if you want me to make a video on how to cut a corset using cup instead of wording put it down in the comment section and i'll make a video on that so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video